Gaming Gamer here, and yeah, there is a new special program for version 1.3. So yeah, it's discussion time. So I'm gonna be um just briefly going through everything that they've shown in the special program, of course. So uh, well, yeah. Um, I don't need to put a disclaimer up because all the info comes from the special program. So without any further ado. Um, let's just uh, speed run through and talk about everyone. So, um, of course, um, everyone already knew because of the teasers, but, um, Yanagi and, uh, Lighter are, uh, both in version 1.3. Yes, it's called Yanagi, not Yanagi, um, because the Bang Boo says so. So, I'm gonna be calling her, uh, Yanagi from now on. So, um, Yanagi, um, is going to be, uh, with uh, Lighter uh, for the most part in uh, version 1.3. Um, both of them have special storylines. So for um, Yanagi in specifically, um, she is going to have a special episode. So we're probably just going to be playing um, section 6, which is going to be pretty, pretty cool uh, for the most part. And Lighter, on the other hand, he's going to be having a agent story. So we're going to have a special episode and an agent story. So yeah, this is going to be pretty, pretty cool. We already have two stories um and it's going to be pretty pretty awesome for the most part i can't wait to see um what uh they reveal in lore but um enough about uh their story um it's time to talk about what they are um in gameplay wise so um well i guess i could just give you the sparks notes version and then go over like some of the skills they mentioned so um sukishiro uh yanagi is a electric anomaly s rank limited character so um she is basically i guess the best way i could describe her um by condensing it down she is a stance changing uh anomaly character who specializes in disorder damage so she's basically uh a disorder dps um you really want to switch between the two styles that she has and she has a special style on her ex as well um, it looks like for the most part, um, I can't show you the gameplay here. So, um, yeah, she's pretty, pretty unique. But yeah, as you see there, she has basic attacks right there. Um, the top left corner right here, um, shows you what stance you are on, um, which is pretty cool. As you see there, yep, um, if she uses her special, she can change stances right there, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, yep, as you see there, she does different moves in general. Um, they also show her EX, I think. They have to... Oh, they show an additional ability. Her additional ability is actually pretty good. Um, when you are basically um, with a anomaly or the same attribute, you do more disorder damage, which is pretty nice. And also, the effect right there, they show it right here. Um, the this, the attributes uh, shown for um, the anomaly, uh, for in this case for Yanagi or uh, Yanagi, it is electric. It stays on there. Yeah, it stays on there, which means that you can basically trigger shock right there without having to consume um without having to consume a anomaly bar which means that you're going to be doing more disorder damage which is pretty pretty nice in general so yeah um pretty pretty cool for the most part yeah as you see there it triggered disorder but the shock is still up there which is pretty pretty cool um they also have the ex right there um where she does like multiple slashes right there and then she can go into a stance change which is pretty pretty nice as well so yeah um for the most part she is pretty pretty good um, looks like she attacks fast. She's gonna be pretty great for, um, disorder teams in general. Um, they did show her agent skill right here. So, um, it deals a certain percentage of original disorder effects damage to the target, plus additional damage equal to certain percentage of Yanagi's anomaly proficiency without removing the target's anomaly. As I mentioned before, you don't have to remove the anomaly, which is pretty, pretty nice. It means that it just stays there. Um, which means that you're gonna be triggering more disorder damage, which is pretty, pretty nice in general. This means that, well, uh, everyone already knows how good Anomaly teams are. Currently, the best team in the game right now, in my opinion, is Jane, Caesar, Bernice. Now, imagine a DPS disorder uh, agent like Yanagi on that team with the queen of disorders, Bernice. Yeah, um, this is probably going to be the best team in the game, not gonna lie. Anomaly right now is just dominating the game, um, because of just how much damage, uh, disorders do, and how much damage in general, like, um, how everything is. Um, Jane specifically is just extremely good because that she can crit on Assault, but 
disorder damage is, is just honestly really, really busted. And we have a disorder DPS right here um, in the game. So yeah, this is going to be pretty, pretty devastating for the most part. Um, they also show off um, some of our other things right here. Um, they show off the gameplay of the disorder thing um, where uh, she can keep the... Uh, yeah, as you see there, um, if you looked at the bots closely, uh, yeah, right there, they trigger burn, right? But the status effect is still there. This means that, yeah, you could literally just go into Yanagi and then just do that. Um, also, by the way, uh, when she switches in, she changes stances right there, as you see there um, on the top left corner. If you uh, uh, chain with her, you can just um, go into her stance change, which is pretty, pretty nice. It She is just extremely, extremely flexible um, for the most part. Great on quick swap teams, it looks like. Um, too, but yeah, um, Bernice and Yanagi is going to be extremely, extremely, extremely broken. Oh, here's her ultimate, by the way. Really, really flashy right there. Multiple slashes and kablamo. Yeah, um, she looks really, 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 really busted. Um, especially on disorder teams since she is a disorder DPS. So yeah, um, there's my take on, um, Yanagi. I'm pretty sure she's going to be pretty easy to build. Especially since she is an anomaly agent, which means that all you have to do is just slap on AP, pen, and attack, and you're good to go. Yeah, um, and besides, uh, it, if you are going to be building her, um, with her, uh, disorder in mind, you might as well just go for pen, too. Because, um, disorder scales off a of pen and attack, as well as, um, AP. So yeah, um, pretty, pretty nice in general, so yeah. All right, next up, we have Lighter, who is the uh, second agent going to be coming out from the second half of the manor. So, um, Lighter, uh, for the most part, I guess, uh, well, I have to give you another Sparks Nose version of him. So, uh, Lighter is just a, a stunner who buffs fire and ice agents. Yep, that's it. That's all I gotta say. Um, he has a unique mechanic. Um, they show it in here in... Um, the uh, gameplay segment of Lighter. Uh, he has a unique mechanic where he gets morale. Yeah, right there. Um, I see there, we can see the agent skills. This is his core passive. So um, in his passive, he literally, all he has to do is hit the opponent like five times. After the fifth hit of his basic attack, he will consume morale to do a uh, JoJo reference. And then he basically just does increased um, damage as impact. And it does more impact as well to increase the stun meter. And um, morale, of course, uh, gets um, restored over time. So, how do you restore morale? You either dodge, which is what he does here. Um, we could show it right there. Uh, he dodges. There you go. As you see there, his morale gets buffed, which is really, really good. Um, he also gets it over time. You... You can just um, put him in the um, sidelines and he gets morale over time as well. So that works too. Um, I'm pretty sure he has other ways to restore morale as well, but they don't show that much. I don't know if a defensive assist will give him morale, but I assume he probably does. So um, assume, I guess, that um, anything that is pretty special like dodging or uh, defensive assists or chains or whatnot will probably restore um, morale on... Uh, lighter so yeah um but he is extremely extremely good on teams that especially uh, work with ice and fire because he buffs them um after you do his uh fifth attack which is the um the jojo's oda 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 um but yeah as you see there he does a lot and i mean a lot of stun especially if you have high morale which is really 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 good but yeah look at this look at that that stun meter goes really 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 fast which is really really busted look at that so so good um you can also cancel it it looks like as you see here um he does the uh punches and then he cancels it um i think they show it right here yeah so he does it he can cancel it and then go into it again yeah that's pretty pretty cool honestly um he also has uh in his um additional ability uh they don't display it in text but he basically uh increases the damage of fire and ice agents um after you uh hit the enemy which is really really good as um as long as you consume morale um you're able to basically yeah as you see there um just go into it which is pretty pretty nice and all you have to do is literally just 
um, send the enemy right there, go into chain, and then you just get the buff, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, they also show it right here with Ellen. Um, of course, uh, Ellen is the only ice agent or the only ice attack agent in the game and also the only um, DPS agent in the game, which is really, really weird. But um, yeah, Ellen can um, benefit from lighter since she is the only other ice agent unless you count DPS Sokaku. But yeah, but um, as for his additional ability, it's pretty, pretty easy to get. Um, he has the same additional condition as Ching Yi, um, attack agent and faction. So this means that, um, you can literally put whatever attack agent you want. And then for the third slot, you can literally put whatever you want as well, as long as it supports the, uh, DPS, uh, mention. So for Ellen, probably Ellen's best team with lighter is going to be Ellen, lighter, Sokaku. And then for, um, fire, um, we could just assume like 11 lighter Lucy. That's also pretty good too. Or, um, 11 Caesar uh, lighter. Basically anything that, um, can basically, uh, benefit the, uh, agent, uh, DPS. So yeah. Um, but, uh, he also has a pretty unique quick assist too. After, um, an agent attacks right there, you can literally quick assist, um, right here into lighter. Uh, it looks like, yeah, as you see there, Kablamo, and he's able to do his morale thing, and then just do his, uh, Oda Oda, <laughs> which is really, really nice. Um, he looks pretty, pretty good, honestly. But yeah, as you see there, if he dodges, he's able to get morale back, which is pretty, pretty nice. And this is his ultimate. He punches the ground, Kablamo! But probably you'll never see this because, uh, he's a, a stun agent. He's probably never going to be doing this anyway. But it's still pretty cool, especially if you are going to be building a DPS, uh, lighter. Um, pretty, pretty nice overall. So yeah. But, um, that is it for a lighter... And, um, that is it for both of the, uh, agents in men uh, in question, so yeah. But, um, they also introduced, a uh, new Bang Boo, um, in the, um, special program. They introduced two new Bang Boo. They introduced Batty Boo and Night Boo, I think that's his- yeah, Night Boo. Yeah, so, um, you get Batty Boo from the Bang Boo of uh, Summon Pool, and you get Night Boo- uh, from an event. So yeah, um, if you want Night Boo, make sure you do the event, which is, uh, pretty, pretty cool. Um, they also, uh, showcase what, uh, Batty Boo and Night Boo do. So, Batty Boo, he is basically, uh, he's basically rock- he's like Rocket Boo. He's literally Rocket Boo. He shoots rockets, and he does fire, uh, anomaly damage. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, as for Night Boo, he gives you energy. Yeah. This is one of the first Bang Boo in the game that literally give you energy, uh, which is really, really nice. It drops stars right here. You can collect the stars and you get energy back, which means that you're able to do her, uh, your EXs, which is pretty, pretty nice. This is really, really good. That's an A rank Bang Boo. It's an A rank Bang Boo that gives you energy. Y you already know how good EXs are in the game. So yeah, um, this Bang Boo might be viable. Um, he also does ether damage when he uh, uses the ponies. Right here, um, you can see it in this chain attack, uh, which is right here, I think. They, they have to show it. Yep. Yeah, it does ether damage, so pretty, pretty nice, too. Um, he can work on ether teams, uh, with, uh, Shoyan and Nicole, uh, which are the only ether characters in the game. So, yeah, um, pretty, pretty nice overall. It's just a pretty, pretty solid, um, bang booze right there so uh they showcase what the banners are um they haven't showcased what the a ranks are for those banners but they probably will reveal it soon but um as for phase one we have uh sukishiro yanagi um with her um w engine uh time weaver which is pretty pretty nice and then of course uh same for uh phase two which is lighter with blazing laurel which is really really cool uh both engines look pretty pretty nice overall so yeah of course, um, they have the corresponding, um, start of, um, version, um, login bonuses. Right here, you get 10 tapes, which is pretty nice. And then right here, you get 10, um, uh, uh, bang pawns, which is, a uh, pretty, pretty nice, uh, boo pawn. <laughs> um, they also, uh, they also, uh, they just revealed what, um, the wallpapers are for, uh, these agents. So, uh, for Yanagi right here, this is her wallpaper. Pretty, pretty nice, right? Um, they haven't showcased lighter yet, and I'm pretty sure they don't showcase- Oh yeah, they did. 
Um, they showcase Lighter. He looks pretty cool. Uh, it's him without his glasses, which is uh, really, really nice. So yeah. Um, yeah, both of these look pretty, pretty cool. Um, of course, I am going to be maxing out their trust, which is pretty, pretty nice. So yeah. Um, they also showed the code here, um, but uh, by the time I'm uploading this video, it probably will be expired. So yeah, um, sorry guys, but yeah, um, 300 uh, polychromes, pretty, pretty nice. They also showcase a lot of events here. Um, what I mean by this is really stacked, I mean this is really, really, really stacked. We have so much content in version 1.3, it's not even funny. Um, they showcased a lot of things. So, um, we have a dedicated page for both of these, um, agents, uh, stories. So, we have Yanagi's, and then we have Lighters right here. Um, you just complete, uh, stuff to gain some, um, things right there. You're able to play as the, uh, agents, of course. You're able to exchange these for a lot of rewards. Pretty, pretty nice overall. So, yeah. Um, they also do the same thing for Lighter right there. Um, yes, they have pretty, pretty unique stages. But yeah, uh, as you see there for Lighter, he gets a side-scrolling, um, a side-scrolling thing. Yeah, th that's his, that's his, uh, thing. So yeah, uh, pretty, pretty nice overall. I can't wait to play these. So yeah, um, they also showcase a lot of other things right here too. Uh, this is a permanent mode, by the way. A simulated battle trial. It's literally a tower climbing, um, event. And it is a, a tower climbing, um, mode. Uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. You're able to climb a tower and then reach to the top. And then the higher you're, um, the higher you climb the tower, the tougher the enemies are. And of course, the higher your rank is going to be, which is pretty, pretty nice. You're able to flex what badge you have. Um, they also, uh, just like in tower mode, uh, it's pretty, pretty unique where your agents can't heal. Unless, of course, you, like, bring, like, a bang boo that heals you. But, um, besides that... Uh, you literally have to just um, make do with what you have. Of course, if an agent does die, um, you can replace it with someone else, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's literally just a uh, tower climbing game. You climb the tower until you uh, reach to the top, which is pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, um, expect me to make a video on this. This is going to be a pretty, pretty interesting mode. So yeah, um, really, really cool. Um, also, they pretty, they pretty much hinted, yeah, they, they hinted, um, they hit, they hinted, uh, how much floors they have. So, it looks like right here, they have floor 9. If you read at the bottom here, it says one floor left until you can add another agent, two floors left until you can complete the challenge. This means that this probably has 11 floors. Yeah, this is an 11th floor tower. Um... All I'm going to say is good luck to everyone who is going to be attempting this. Um, you probably will be needing it. So, yeah. Um, but uh, it's... Wait, actually, wait. No, I I'm wrong. Um, if they count this floor as a floor, then that means 10. There's 10 floors. Yes. Okay, so it's either going to be an 11 floor tower or a 10 floor tower. But um, since 11 is a odd number, I'm going to be going for 10. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that this is going to be 10 towers, uh, or 10 floors for, um, this tower, so yeah. But, um, yeah, it looks like you could just equip some Bing Boo and some, um, agents right there, and just tackle the, um, tower. So yeah, um, pretty much it. We also have the Mystery of, um, Arpeggio, uh, Fault, which is a, uh, roguelike, uh, game. Yeah, it's a roguelike game. So, um, it looks like, uh... You just get buffs and you're able to just climb floors, which is pretty, pretty nice. And, uh, wait, doesn't this look familiar, guys? Yes, this is the, well, if you haven't played it, a uh, spoilers. This is literally the Bang Boo Commission. It's the hero Bang Boo Commission, but as a mode. Yeah. Um, if you guys haven't played that before, I highly suggest that you do that commission. That commission is a secret commission. So, um, yeah, it's pretty hard to spot. But, um, all you have to do is literally, uh, reach, uh, adventure, or not adventure, um, reach internaut level 40, and then you talk to the phone at night. That's how you, uh, trigger that, uh, commission. So, yeah, but it looks like they just made it into a full-fledged mode, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, definitely going to be uh, playing this as well. 
um, looks like it's just gonna be all played on TV mode. So yeah. Um, as for um, the other stuff, it looks like uh, just like in Rogue, like you're able to just um, level up your skill tree. Um, you can level it up to whatever you want, which is pretty pretty nice as well. So yeah, um, definitely do this for the rewards because you get uh, Night Boo. Night Boo, um, definitely you want that Boo. Um, it, it's just a new Bang Boo to mess around with. So yeah. As for another event right here, uh, Virtual Battlefield Mayhem. So uh, it looks like you're able to just test out agents. Right here, you could test out um, Yanagi. Um, right here, which is pretty pretty cool and you just complete the stages with um, unique things So yeah, pretty pretty nice overall just more rewards to uh, Play with and as well as test out Yanagi for yourself uh, to see if you want to summon for her or not um, As for another event, we have when sandwiches come a knock-in. This is literally just a cheesetopia event um, But uh, very very unique. So it looks like you're just managing a uh, sandwich shop um, which is pretty pretty cool able to um, just take orders for um, other people so yeah um, as for another event we have Enos assistant program um, this is pretty cool it's just like the um, bang boo event that we got last time where you're able to help out the bang boo uh, you can take pictures you're able to play some mini games with them as you see there uh, you just have to spot which um, or how many avocado boos are on the screen. So yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. It's literally Mario Party minigame. It's it's the counting Mario Party minigame. So yeah. You also get a lot of rewards too. Pretty pretty nice overall. So yeah. Um, there's another event right here. Help Kai. Yes, um, there, there's still more by the way after this. It's just so much content. Um, right here, you're able to just uh, help out a lot of people right here to just get a lot of... Um, polychromes, which is pretty pretty nice as well. So yeah, pretty pretty cool. Um, they also have right here a new um deck or decorative, I guess, thing in a ZZZ. So uh, well, uh, usually the room or your room is pretty empty. So yeah, you could literally exchange these for um well statues or um figures that you're able to put in your room, which is pretty pretty cool right there. So yeah, more. Uh, more customization um, for your room, which is pretty pretty nice overall. So yeah, nothing to complain about there. Um, also, two of the best events are coming back. Let's go! We got Data Bounty Combat Simulation with double drops on HIA of, um, drops. We also have Advanced Bounty Routine Cleanup. Double drops for discs. Let's go! So yeah, uh, get your uh, farming uh, glasses on. And, uh, well, just farm. So, yeah. Um, they also showcase a lot of new things um, right here. So, uh, it looks like they revamped the uh, homepage for your, um, well, profile. Uh, it looks like you're able to just put in a title. You're able to showcase how much um, stuff you're able to do. You see there with the badges right there. Um, you could showcase a lot of things. Uh, titles are probably going to be similar to other games where you have to earn them in order to put them, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, they also have uh, badges right here. You're able to customize it right there, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, and also, uh, if you don't want to showcase those off, you can literally just toggle them off, which is pretty, pretty nice overall. So yeah, um, they also have uh, new, new optimizations for this game, which is pretty nice. They just made all the layouts look easier. As you see there, we have um, combat. Instead of challenge, it's called combat. Um, we have tactics and we also have um, training, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, they also You see there they're able to um, they just revamped uh, this thing right here this quest so you can literally just um, Choose which one you want to do and yeah, that's basically it pretty pretty cool um, What else did they show off? Oh, yeah, um, you're able to access um, Training mode pretty easily all you have to do is just go to um the tabs right there to go into uh, trading mode, which is pretty, pretty nice. It means that you don't have to literally just like pause and then go to the VR mode. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool that uh, you could do less button presses. Um, right here, they do showcase a lot of um, things too. So it looks like uh, you can literally click on the boss um, or like uh, a couple of uh, materials and they showcase what agents um level up those talents with as you see there or those cores yeah as you see there yeah right there pretty pretty cool um that they do this 
Um, they also showcased uh, right here um, which agents need which um, discs, which is pretty, pretty nice. So yeah, it's really, 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 really cool um, of them to just uh, do that. They also, right here... They revamped the skill thing. So, um, instead of just, um, going into the crafting mode, where you literally have to craft a lot of things, you could literally just conversion gain right there, and you could skip steps. Yeah, so normally you have to convert the, um, the, uh, chips, the triangle chips into the square chips, and then convert the square chips into the purple chips. Yeah, uh, so they skipped that. You could literally now just do... Um, the, uh, B rank chips to, or, like, the, um, C rank to B rank to A rank chips, which is pretty, pretty nice. So, yeah, um, skips a lot of clicking and skips a lot of time, which is pretty cool. And also, really cool update right here. You get to craft purple and blue, uh, master copies right there to get gold, gold copies, gold copies. Awesome awesome just awesome yeah so you're able to just convert all of these into just um gold which is pretty pretty nice and you see that you don't have to do a rank spins anymore you can really just get um s ranks which is pretty cool they also uh revamped the dismantling feature you can now um you can now uh, sort it to time right here yeah as you see their order obtained which is pretty pretty nice they also made it to just quick select right there you can literally quick select anything which is pretty, pretty nice. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool overall. Um, they also uh, revamped... Um, I think they also revamped... Uh, yeah, they revamped the uh, the uh, agents as well as your Bing Boo. So you can literally add an agent as your favorite agent, which means that you don't have to literally scroll to find the agent that you want. You can literally favorite them. And then they appear on the top, which is pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, um, really, really nice feature overall. It's the same with the Bang Boo. You can literally favorite a Bang Boo right there. Um, and then it's able to be at the front, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, they also just um, optimize this as well right here. You're able to just, uh, yeah, as you see there, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, they revamped the discs thing. And um, I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for uh, version 1.3. Overall, it's honestly a really, really stacked update. We got a bunch of events. We got a lot of rewards that we're able to claim. We have two um, stories right there. We have the special uh, story um, or the special episode. We also have the agent story, which is pretty nice. And we have a lot of system updates, new Bang Boo. Um, overall, this is just a pretty, pretty good update. Um, pretty, pretty stacked for the most part. So, yeah. Well, anyways, um, if you guys enjoyed my ramblings and if you guys enjoyed this, uh, discussion and thoughts, um, and also enjoyed my opinions, um, and if you want to support the channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, um, to the channel. It really does mean a lot, um, if you do subscribe to the channel, um, helps so you keep me motivated making more videos. Um, also leaving a like also does that too. So again, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel if you do do that. It really means a lot. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So again, thank you guys so much. Um, as for the comments down below, what do you think about version 1.3? You think it's good? You think it's bad? Uh, what do you think about Yanagi? Or what do you think about Lighter? Are you going to be summoning for both? Are you going to be summoning for none of them? Are you going to be skipping? Are you going to be going for um, Yanagi specifically or Lighter? Uh, what do you think about the events? You think the events are cool? Do um, you think they are not cool? Are you excited about the rewards or are you not? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to uh, respond to you um, and uh, hopefully we can make a good conversation and discussion. So yeah, I mean, this is a discussion video, right? Um, and as always, thank you guys for watching this version 1.3 discussion video. And I'll see you guys in the next gotcha video.